So I'm assuming you had a chance to look at the video, Coach Hastings, following the series down at Alabama Huntsville. What did you like? What didn't you like about what you saw against uh, the Chargers Friday and Saturday? You know, I, I liked our game uh, Friday a little bit more than Saturday based upon, um, you know, our, our, our second and third period were two of our most complete periods that we've played this year. I thought our puck management was very good. Uh, we did a good job of killing penalties. I didn't think we created – enough urgency on on them as far as defensively to, to draw any uh, power plays. Um, but I, I, I thought from top to bottom, it was good to see us score five on five goals. And they're hard to score in college hockey right now. So that was a real positive throughout the week and took us a bit on Saturday uh, where they tied the game 1-1. I thought we reacted well to that uh, with Reggie Lutz making a you know an out-of-the-air um, you know, backhand uh, to to get us to where we needed to be to have a goal lead, and then I thought, you know, the next shift we extended it, and so I thought we finished that game well. And anytime you can go on the road in our league and and come back with two wins, it's a very productive weekend. Uh, senior winger Charlie Gerard had a nice weekend, uh, three goals and an assist. He's been up and down your lineup relative to who you've put him with, and he's been on the first line. He's he's played with some other guys. At one point, he was an extra skater. It was nice to see him sort of have a breakout weekend offensively after the nice improvement he made last year as a junior going from where he was as a sophomore to a you know a third-year player for you. Hey, it's a great point by you. He had, throughout the week, he had been up and down the lineup, uh, even on Friday night and Saturday. And I thought as a veteran player, he handled it very well. He just went about his business. He went back to work. Um, he made an impact on the game immediately on Friday, and I thought that carried over into Saturday for him. So we need our seniors to, to play like seniors and lead, whether they're in between the boards or outside of them. And Charlie's done a really good job of that. It was good to see him have some success. What have you seen, and if, if anything, differently out of – Connor Mackey this year going into you know for, through the first few games of the season um, maybe kind of from where he left off last year I'd say just a confidence you know he's very comfortable in his own skin he put a lot of work in this last summer he's you know teetering between a pound or two of 200 pounds um, so he's done a lot of work in the weight room I think that has allowed him to become a bit more assertive defensively. And as you're seeing with his numbers this year, the start where he's been scoring a goal against North Dakota, uh, when that was in the game, um, he's been assertive offensively. And so I think his game is rounding out a little bit more because he's got more confidence playing with and without the puck. And that was a heavy series against the University of North Dakota, and I thought he played very well uh, as that series went on. And that shows the time that he's put into the weight room has allowed him to feel the way that he does about his game. The way last season ended for him, you know, one week he scores a tying goal, a big goal in this building. The next week he ends up with that that five-minute major that really turns the game. Does, how does he manage those sorts of highs and lows um, as a player, and is that something that, you know, how, how, how do you talk to him about those things? Well, it's a maturation. You know, you, as we've all gone through peaks and valleys in our own, um, and I'm going to use this in a sports context, you know, the peaks and valleys that y you learn from more, I think, on the negative than you do on the positive. They seem to stick with you longer. Uh, you know, one thing we tried to do as a group immediately after the game and uh, soon after that with Connor is make sure that he understood, you know, we, we lost that game as a collective group. Uh, that situation was one that I think he wears on his sleeve and, and always will because he's prideful about how uh, he conducts himself and he wants to be a we guy, not a me guy. He always has since he's started here. And to see him... Uh, you know, he took responsibility for it and moved on. And I just, I think he's done a great job at focusing on what he gets to control, what's in front of him, not what's happened previously. And it's serving him very well right now. And I like the the spot that he's at as a player. What is it about Bowling Green over the years where your two teams have been so close, whether it's overtime games, I think there's a one, one game difference in the series. Um, it just seems like, you know, I wrote earlier this week about it being maybe your biggest rival in this league just because it's been truly a, a two-sided rivalry. 
you know, and I've got a lot of respect for the program. Chris Bergeron, who was there before, you know, getting to know him over the years uh, and and valuing playing against them because they make you better. And they, they make you earn everything that you get. Uh, they play in-your-face hockey. They t- try and take away all time and space. Um, and I think they do things the right way. Um, and, I, and I mean that in a, a complimentary way. I just and and now with Ty taking over the reins, a guy that's been there as an alum and, and has been there with Chris, uh, he, he's you watch videotape, they haven't changed much, uh, and so they are a rival. Uh, and that that series is always one that I think both teams look forward to because one, you know, you're going to have to earn anything that you get. And two, by the end of the series, it's you're going to be better whether you were on the good end or the bad end. You're going to have learned something about your team and about yourself as a player. So um, it's a good time for the series to happen. And, you know, the last time we played them in a series, it was in their building, and they got the best of us twice. So uh, opportunity for us to play at home, and we look forward to play at home.